Hi, this is Luke from NGM, and today we're gonna to talk about Dota 2, specifically heroes that are still viable in patch 7.29b. A lot changed when Doorbreaker got dropped at 7.29. Some heroes that weren't so good got buffed a lot, and some that needed tweaking, they got the nerf hammer. Then, everything changed again when 7.29b dropped. A lot of those heroes that became fun to play suddenly weren't anymore. So, today, we're gonna to talk through some of the heroes that are still viable and still getting good win rate percentages in 7.29b, but not just those that have good win rate percentages, but are also fun to play. As always, our guides are brought to you by MGN and Heartbeat Moments. MGN, what's that? That's us. That's the multi-gaming network. We bring you guides, news, reviews, all the good stuff that you love on the games you love. What are Heartbeat Moments? Glad you asked. Heartbeat Moments is something that we've developed to bring our blogs to life. Say you're particularly interested in a specific hero today and you want to read and watch about them at the same time. All you have to do, click the time code in the blog and you'll be pulled forward in the video to that specific hero so you can read and watch at the same time. How cool is that? All right, so you want some suggestions on heroes that are going to be fun to play and viable in 7.29b? Check these ones out, stick with me, and you will find out. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to go over some recommendations for heroes that are in really great places right now uh, in patch 7.29b. If you're a returning player or you need to be caught up quickly on what heroes are potent right now or which ones are fun to play, stick with us, we're going to get into that right now. The first recommendation we're going to give to check out is Bloodseeker. He's currently sitting at about 52.12% win rate. And why have we recommended Bloodseeker? Well. He's one of the very, very few heroes right now that is A, fun to play, and B, wasn't nerfed into the ground when 7.29 became 7.29B. We'd love to write about heroes like Huskar or Phantom Lancer, but we can't anymore with those changes, so here we are. We're writing a Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker is going to be an entertaining character for new and returning players, and right now, his effectiveness, you can't argue with it. You can't argue with a 52.12% win rate, and that's great. He's got an AoE, damage, silence, getting off that, that ultimate and having players having to decide between running away from you and taking huge damage is really satisfying to play. The mechanic is cool, and overall it makes Bloodseeker fun. Plus, his sort of gimmick of running really fast when players are losing a lot of health, yeah, it's a bit of fun. It's really cool. So. Some items we recommend you working towards when you're playing Bloodseeker include Black King Bar, you know I'm getting locked down, Phase Boots, they take your movement speed and turn them up to 11, especially with the passive, Maelstrom into Gleepnir, Gleepnir combines with your skills very, very well, and Maelstrom helps you farm, Skullbasher into Abyssal Blade, no one loves man fighting like we love man fighting, it's one of the most satisfying and fun things to do in Dota, so Abyssal Blade. Uh, Sanj into Sanj and Yasha, you love all the stats, it just takes everything you like and gives you lots of it. And Blade Mail makes you even more annoying to deal with, on top of how already annoying Bloodseeker is to deal with. Alrighty, moving on. Our second recommendation is going to be Ark Warden. Ark Warden looks cool and he's a lot of fun. So, he gets our second recommendation for heroes to consider picking up in patch 7.29b. Ark is currently sitting at around 51.92% win rate, um, and he's another hero that sort of avoided the nerf hammer in a big way when they were dropped. We feel like he's been left alone in a good way, and he's sort of gone through to the keeper as far as his potential in the meta right now. So if you're looking for a hero that's on the way up, and that Icebrog is not currently looking at making useless, give the Warden a try. Whilst his kit can be intimidating for newer players or those returning from a lengthy break, making him your main is an excellent idea, especially if you're familiar with macro games like StarCraft for example. The rule of thumb is, if you can play a difficult hero like Ark Warden well, you can play just about anything well. Alright, so for items to work towards whilst playing Ark Warden, getting your experience up with him and Dota 2 in general, we recommend Hand the Midas. You get double go bonus with you and the double, so you have a really high GPM, makes getting items really easy. Maelstrom into Molinear, your double again applies those Molinear procs, it's fantastic. Eye of Scar, your double applies the cold attack as well, fantastic. Boots of Travel, so you and your double can get around, you don't need to be in the same place all the time. Orchid into Blood Zorn, the silence and the damage that you get from Blood Flawn is really, really potent on Arc Warden. You see the trend here? 
It, it continues in our sixth item, Monkey King Bar. It's all about making right clicks have A, a lot of damage, and B, a lot of utility. You're spreading them around with Molineer, you're getting this cold attack with Scardi, you're getting more damage with MKB. It's just very, very good. Everything, just setting yourself up for being able to right click on something and having you and your other Warden double murder it. It's really fun. So, Arc Warden, our second recommendation, Heroes in 7.29B. Our third one is going to surprise some people. It's Naga Siren. And you know what? It's going to surprise your allies, because they won't be expecting you to pick it, but it's also going to surprise the enemy in the drafting phase. But, buff-wise, patch-wise, she's getting better and better. Um, her buffs haven't been as nuclear as some of the other heroes we've seen. She hasn't been totally overhauled or just given a ridiculous potent skill or stat, but she's steadily and steadily increasing and has found her way into a 52.61 win rate. That's pretty high for something that's flown under the radar. Naga is great for players who like independence. She doesn't need to heavily rely on the team to get things done. And if you get the farm you need, she can be potentially one of the hardest carries in the game. Her farm speed is good, and you can pull worse players along with you to a win with Naga Siren. For items we work, we recommend you work towards with Naga Siren, getting your experience up with both her and Dota 2 in general. The first being Manta Star. Your gimmick is that you want to create copies, you want the copies to do a lot of damage, you get more copies with Manta Style, therefore Manta Style is good. A second item we recommend is Diffusal Blade. All of your copies get the Mana Burn buff from Diffusal Blade, like enough said. Your, your enemies can't react to you if they have no mana to react to you with. You get Diffusal Blade, eat their mana, it's very good. The third is Power Treads, look you need a movement speed item on Naga. Um, it's really that simple. You can tread swap, you can survive ganks, you can get the damage, you can get your mana regen. Fantastic. Assault Cuirass, the armor and the attack speed applies to your copies as well. And your team is always going to thank you for having an Assault Cuirass carrier. Like I said, you can pull them along with you to a win. And the buff applies to your copies. It's good all around. The last item is a bit of an indulgence. It's Butterfly. If you can get your hands on it, it makes you really difficult to kill and it makes other things really easy to kill. So we're recommending Butterfly as our last item on Naga Siren. The fourth hero and the final hero we're going to recommend that you check out in 7.29b is Night Stalker. If you're unfamiliar with Night Stalker's gimmick, well, as you might have guessed, he gets good at night. Pretty straightforward. It's in the name. It's an interesting mechanic uh, for both newer players or players that have transitioned from other MOBAs. I don't think you really find that in a lot of other games or MOBAs specifically. And it's a point of difference that's going to make Night Stalker fun for you. But, having said that, his gimmick doesn't mean he's in a bad place win rate wise. He's at 51.9 for around that anyway, and that's really good. So he's fun to play, and he's got a win rate that means your team isn't going to hate you for picking him. That's good. For items we recommend checking out when you're playing Night Stalker, getting your experience of up with NS and playing Dota 2 in general. Gonna go with the first one, Phase Boots. Getting on top of your enemy is a must, so we grab that. BKB, if you're a core, you need BKB, or well, I would say the vast majority of them do. And BKB can be put on every hero on this list as early as possible. Agony Scepter, this is very good. Changes it to an AoE, you can apply it liberally. We love that. Abyssal Blade on melee heroes, and heroes that love to whack away a man fight. Thank you very much. We get the stuns, we get attack damage, we get the bulk from the strength. It's all very good. Heart of Tarrasque, well, it's just the ultimate screw you, I can do what I want item. They can hit you as much as they want. You have a huge health boost, you have a huge HP regen boost, and you get some damage there as well. It means you're going to be around for a very long time, and you can whack away and wait for night time, or proc your ult, get night time, and punish. Satanic is good for many of the same reasons that the heart is, plus it gives us some lifesteal, it just gives us overall bulk, we're surviving longer, we become really, really hard to kill with Satanic and Heart combined. So, that's going to wrap it up for hero recommendations thus far, we're going to keep releasing these for more recommendations, but if there's a particular hero that you've had success with in 7.29b and you want us to cover it, let us know in the comments, drop the hero's name, why you think it's been successfully for you, and we might even make a video about it. That's going to wrap it up. Thank you for listening. Keep an eye on the blog, keep an eye on the YouTube for more MGN Dota 2 content.